Okay. Yeah. I think we're good. Anyway, guys, this is a uh, Little Inferno. It's included in Humble Bundle, Humble Indie Bundle Eight. Uh, just started three days ago. Yeah. And well, yeah, that was Thursday, I think, actually, yeah. and then. It's it's already got oh my god it's I haven't checked this in a while it's yeah. got over 1.6 million holy shit seriously revenue right now yeah that is that is ridiculous uh, did you ever uh, see uh, on the legitimate purchases of your brand new I wonder if if you pirate this game if it doesn't say that <laughs> I was looking at a top ten list the other day of top ten like anti piracy things in video games and uh, the Alan Wake one. Is uh, he, the, the main character Alan Wake walks around with an eye patch? Oh, that's like brilliant! A, like a pirate eye patch, yeah. I love how you can burn the terms and kid. Okay, so uh, this game is very odd, uh, to say the least. That is one thing I love about this new humble bundle is all the games in it. All pretty much all the games in it are very odd. I'd say the most normal game is uh, capsized. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I'm just realizing that now, actually, the fact that these are yeah. all very experimental games. Right, like Proteus and Dear Esther, which I did a quick look of all the games. And uh, I, I, I obviously a lot of people like to say, oh, Proteus and uh, Dear Esther aren't really games, which you and I have had that discussion before, I think. We have, yeah. I think we actually might have had it on my stream the yeah. last time I did it. Right. Um, which I, I always kind of get annoyed by that, because I love those, especially Proteus. I absolutely love Proteus. Um, I feel like most people who dismiss it are people who don't even give it a try. Which I understand. I mean, it's not everyone's game. Like, I don't expect people to, like, absolutely love it. It's just, I feel like it's unfair to just say, it's not a game. Just to dismiss it outright, right. yeah, is doing it a disservice. And I, I made the argument that Dear Esther is more like interactive poetry than anything. Yeah, but I mean, then you get into the argument of what is what a game really is. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, I don't want to get into that. But no, I'm I know. But uh, this, forwarding the idea. So the whole idea of this game, if you're not familiar, is we have these catalogs here, and uh, as we burn more items, we get more items. Uh, when we burn the items themselves, we get uh, money, as you'll see right here. Everything has a different interaction, so this popcorn, or the, the corn turns into popcorn, and uh, they burn separately, and then a lot of things just burn normal. Um, the better you burn things, the higher it gets stacked, like the higher the fire goes, and the more money you make from it. Um, so I'll just buy a few things right here. And uh, even though we can only buy four things to start with, I think towards the end of the game you can buy upwards of like eight items at a time. Um, you also get nuclear bombs that you can. Am burn. I wrong in thinking that the the progress you make is just you get to burn more things at the same time? Uh, yeah, that is like how you make progress is you get more items. But the real thing, I'm I mean, I'm not reading any of the cut the dialogue stuff. I'll I'll read a little bit later on. Um, the whole idea of the game is uh, where the game element of it really comes in is the combos, uh, which you'll see in a minute. There's 99 mm -hmm. combos, uh, but a bitch ain't one. What? And uh, with the items we have unlocked, we're able to do combos. And as we do more combos, we can get uh, another catalog to get more stuff. So you, it really is a game of just getting more and more things. But there is an ending to this game. And it's a really fucking good ending. I'm excited now. Is there anybody there? You don't know me, but I thought I would tell you. It's so cold outside. I'm all snuggled up in front of my little Inferno Entertainment fireplace. It's so toasty, I could stay here forever. Like a hug and a bug and a mug. I mean a bug and a mug and a bug. From Sugar Plumps. P.S. This is for you. So we got a photo of her, and we're going to burn it, because we're jerks. I'm just going to make a nice little pile of things. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the game, like I said, the game really is, at first, It's that's kind of one of my problems with this game, actually. Or not my problem, but I think they could have done better. Is, uh... When you first play it, it really does just seem like, okay, we're just fucking burning things. Uh, where the game, like, after an hour or so, it really is impressive. In my opinion, anyway. Oops. It, it feels like, I mean, like, that was what we were talking about earlier, is the fact that when this trailer came out, no one had any idea what this actually was. And right. they even showed a little bit of gameplay, if I remember right. They showed... Um, I don't... I think they showed gameplay, but it didn't look like gameplay. Right, yeah, it just um, kind of looked like it was Which is kind of funny game. looking... Yeah, it's kind of funny looking back. Yeah. Um, so the more things we burn, the more money we get. There's always going to be a progression. The game's always going to give you more money. It, it's This isn't a hard game by any means. It can be a little difficult, 
to figure out uh, the puzzles, like the combos. But ultimately, it's not that bad. Um, we also get these stamps every now and then, and you get stamps specifically when you do combos, and they allow you to express ship items, so you can get, can get them instantly, so you can go a little bit faster. Um, so we're gonna Sponsored get, by UPS. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to get our first combo here, and we can go ahead and look at our list. Uh, the first combo is very easy. They do it on purpose, just so you know the combo system. It's the bike pirate combo, which literally is... The bike? Wait, no, wait, no. Let me guess this. Let okay, go ahead and okay. go ahead and guess. Okay. Well, let me see your items again. We got we got the uh, the muncher. Yeah. We got the pirate. eye patch dude. Oh, he's a pirate. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna try and put him on the bike. There's a revelation. Uh, oh, he fell off the bike. Damn it. Um, and then also the thing that makes this more of a game is these letters we get. Uh, there's three different people that write us letters. Our neighbor who also is playing with her little entertainment fireplace. Uh, basically, Hello! yeah, basically mom, she reminds me of mom, like from uh, Futurama, like of mom's robots. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, and so she's the one telling us about how amazing, uh, the little Inferno is. And then the, cr probably the creepiest person in the whole game is the weatherman who's telling us about how desolate and destroyed everything is and how cold the harsh, like nuclear winter is. It's fucking crazy. It's yeah. a very well. You kind of got that feel, just like from the trailer, like we were talking about too. Yeah. Like it's it's so peppy and happy, and then there's like these massively depressing, dark undertones to the whole thing. So yeah, I got the bike pirate combo. Uh, so they give you more stamps, and combos also give you more money. And then when we look at this list, it says uh, get combos and get stamps, and we have a little star right here that says how many combos we've gotten. I'll uh, take answer. I'll, I'll uh, if anyone has questions, I'll answer them in a little bit. Um, I'm just kind of trying to get a little bit further in the game. Another combo, and if we don't figure this out, uh, sh the little girl will actually write to us. Is the alarm clock and the instant seed packet? I only remember this because I, I, I played the game so much uh, back when it first came out. We get this like nice, always sunny in Philadelphia style music. Woo. One of the this other... is not the Wii U version. This is, uh, yeah. this is on Steam. They are exactly the same, though. Uh, I beat the Wii U version, though. Um, one of the other really cool things is the My Pictures. And you it literally, uh, you can pick a picture in, from your computer. Unfortunately, I only have... Uh, I, barely, I have very few pictures on my uh, PC. No, I don't want to do all that. Let's see. Burn Luigi. Yeah, let's burn Luigi. Why not? He deserves it. I don't. I don't. It's the year of Luigi. <laughs> uh, so we can express ship our picture of Luigi to us. So we have all these items. If we burn the seed packet with the uh, alarm clock, we'll get the springtime combo. Get it? Flowers and the clock. oh, it's kids. Yeah, clock yeah it's all. Time. It's all very punny. That's how. That's uh. basically how you solve all these. So we're gonna go ahead and burn Luigi. Happy year of Luigi, everyone. Uh, it's me again. I already burned all my stuff. Will you send me something? I need some fireflies. All right, so we don't have fireflies, but they are available to us. Can I send you a picture for you to burn? I guess. Would that work? Because like that. I mean, that yeah, really you could. Blowing my mind. I mean, you could technically. Well, I could go to social network, social networking. So I could uh -huh. go to. I could go to Twitter, and I'm assuming if someone tweets me a picture, I could pick it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's really simple, but I, I like that a lot. I love when games have some sort of connectivity with the outside world. Uh, now i got to find an <laughs> ideal picture for you. Alright, so she wants fireflies, so we can give her fireflies. And that's just part of the game narrative. It's it's never anything like really complicated, like, Send me something green! <laughs> you know, it, it's not... It's like my grandmother yeah, in a retirement home. It's not that cryptic. Okay, oh, this is a really creepy one. Alright, so we have sp a spider egg. And, uh... You'll see here there's one called Generations Combo. And you'll know which ones you can do because they'll the ones you can't do are a little bit, uh, they're washed out. So with the items we have unlocked right now, we can do up to six. So uh, Generational Combo, uh, let's see, an entire generation in the palm of your hand. And then this portrait is a generation, like, you know, a family. So we can assume that that's how we get that one. Make sense, Bear? It does. Do they get increasingly difficult to uh, um, punify? You know, honestly, some of them can become really difficult, but I never really think they're that hard. 
Um, like I said, I played through this game in about four hours the first time I played it, I think. Three and a half, four hours, and I got all the combos. Hmm. Um, you don't have to get them all to beat it, but you do need to get most of them. I think it was 60. Flip it again. Okay, here it is. So she gives us a paper heart. So she'll send us these special items uh, that when they burn, I think you get way more money for them. So we're going to go ahead and burn this uh, egg, this spider egg. And then a bunch of little spiders pop out. It's pretty fucking gross. Rachnophobia meets pyromania. It's filled with secrets. Oh, this is one of the creepiest things. Uh, don't worry, I won't tell you. That would be a spoiler. <laughs> but it's really good. Okay, I'm just going to draw something here. Oh, never mind. She's telling us about the combo. Uh, so if you don't figure out co the combo system, the game does help you out a bit. Yeah. More combinations than can ever be listed! Oh my god, uh, I love the way her character is written. I do too. It's <laughs> it's just well, and, um, <laughs> I know. It's great. And uh, like I said, this is made uh, by the Tomorrow Corporation, which is an indie group, uh, who previously made World of Goo. And that's kind of obvious, like, when you look at it, because the style really is similar. Yeah, it's very similar looking. But even, game. like, the narrative yeah. and the writing, like, I, I love World of Goo. That game is still, like, one of my favorite indie games that's ever come out. Um, they also made Henry Hatsworth, which I mentioned to you, but I don't know if the stream ever heard that. Yes. Also, the f other kind of funny thing is uh, if you get kind of bored and you just are waiting for things, spiders will, like, randomly crawl down. If you break them, you get money. That's awesome. So the uh, game... World of Goo, I feel like, is the, the indie game that everyone has played. Like, I couldn't avoid yeah. having World of Goo on some kind of gaming platform. Yeah. It's one of the few iOS games that I actually really, really enjoyed. All right, yeah. so this is kind of another cool one. Uh, this one, I believe, is called Lender's Combo. And uh, basically, you got to take a bank. Okay. And you can take the credit card. Ah. Oh. And uh, a school bus, I guess, just... For good the school bus is fucked up. There's a bunch of kids in and they all start screaming. I've always wanted to burn a school bus. So we get the lenders combo. And the uh, bus will explode. Uh, there's some exploding... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up. There's, there's uh, Every catalog has a couple of exploding items. And they uh, are big money. So if we go back and look at our combo list again. We have something called the movie night combo. Uh, this one actually, for whatever reason, took me a while to figure out because I didn't understand what could be movie night uh, until you unlock the television. So you get the television and the corn on the cob since it makes popcorn. That's kind of cryptic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's someone else's combo. Uh, so we, oh, This one's pretty easy. All we got to do is just get the items that say someone else. Uh, so uh. Someone, el someone else's credit card and someone else's family portrait. And then we'll have all the combos done so far. So as long as you do a lot of combos, you'll get plenty of stamps, which will also allow you to just express ship things to yourself. Scott, this is a nice, big, cozy fire. So warm and delicate. I think this might be the fucked up letter. Oh, never. yeah, this is the first weather report. It's gonna be I'm another cool one, I'm being folks. like a gorilla's looking cartoon. Oh, he, no, actually, no, no, he, he kinda, no, I think he kinda does, a little bit. Uh, the snow's been coming down faster and faster. Every day colder than the last. That can't last forever. Hehe. <laughs> Build a nice cozy fire and stay warm inside, folks. Hehe. <laughs> Reporting from the weather balloon. Over the smokestacks. Over the city. The weatherman. I just That's think such a perfect hehe. <laughs> I know. I just think he's so fucking creepy. <laughs> uh, but you know what? I, the other thing I find really interesting is the people who made this game have never actually come forward and said what it all means. Uh, I mean, a lot of people have kind of figured it out. Uh, I, I'm, what I've heard mostly is that, uh, they think it's a commentary on, like, the Zynga-style games. Like, li like, a pretty literal interpretation, where you literally just fucking burn items. Like, you bun burn through money, and you th get this, uh, enjoyment out of something that you really get no gain out of. I was gonna make a point about that, but I wasn't sure if that was actually, you, uh... like, the... the the context of the game itself. Yeah, you know? it, it, like, have you ever heard of a have you heard of AVGM, that game that uh Edmund McMillan made for a game jam? I think I have vaguely where literally, where where literally all you do is sit there and click, and as you click you get rewarded with items. I know I uh, I actually was just recently uh looking at the Penn and Teller Desert Bus game. I've heard of that. Okay, <laughs> so uh now that we've done all these combos, and I think we only actually had to do five 
we are able to buy a new catalog. Totally recalled toys. And uh, they cost 75 cents, so if you don't have that much, you just go back to burning stuff. So we get a whole new catalog of items and a whole bunch more combos. Some of these combos are just items from this new catalog, and some of them are combinations of the old and the new. So that's where more of the challenge comes in, is you just have more items to pick from. Uh, and normally the best way to start is just how you start with any of these catalogs, and that's just buying random items. Just kind of build your funds up again. I love the art style in general. Like, yeah, this well, yeah. is very World of Goo, but they, they just have such a unique feel to it. They it's really, so awesome. Yeah, they, it really does. Oh, but what I wanted to say is that uh, you mentioned... Oh, I almost forgot to do this, too. Uh, you mentioned, though, that I made... Th that the song to this game is so creepy. Uh, or that it's so light lighthearted. And actually, I think we're about to get sent... Let's see. Oh! You've already found my second catalog! Did you know? Your Little Inferno comes with a free instructional video! Oh, yeah, here we go. This is the video. I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and play it. Hey, kids! Do you like toys? Yeah. You know what's more fun than playing with toys? Huh? Setting them on fire! With your new Little Inferno Entertainment Fireplace! Yeah. It's Little Inferno! It's Little Inferno! Just for me! I've got the fireplace that burns at a hundred thousand degrees. It's little inferno just for me. I've got these old toys. I've got this box of memories. Ooh, I like that idea. Yeah. Uh, Blizz Bob has tweeted you a picture. Tweet Red Panda Gamer with pictures you think he should burn in the little inferno entertainment machine. What? That's an awesome idea. That was a really good idea. Trying to think of how I would do that. Way up in the sky. I should. It shouldn't be an issue. Actually. Snowing for years. Yeah, you just right-click, save as all the pictures into that pictures folder, right? Well, I don't know. Is it gonna is it gonna force you to reload the game to see the new pictures? Maybe. I doubt it, because it just opens up like the Finder or Explorer, as it's called, I guess, on PC. Oh, that would totally yeah, work. Yeah, it's, it's really really quiet, Indie Panda. There, I'm not I'm not gonna bother to turn it up right now. I, honestly, just the visuals are enough for me. But this is, I think this is what they released, right? This is the fucked up part with the toys all screaming. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a freaking their heads video. And then their heads explode. <laughs> <laughs> it's so messed up. I love it. <laughs> God. And you can watch this anytime you want, too, which is the other funny thing. It's uh, just added up here. I think we get another video later. Oh, this game, man. That's great. Uh, we got another letter. Little Inferno Fireplace is pretty much my favorite game. Yeah, me too. Even though it doesn't make any sense. Buy stuff, burn it, and it gives you more money than when you started. <laughs> I love free stuff. That can't last forever. Oh, I hope they release a free update of Little Inferno Fireplace with pink logs from Sugar Plumps. P.S. Oh, oh this, dude, this, this game is definitely commentary. This is the this is the the creepy part. That thing in the back, it looks like a face, but it's not. P what the P hell? P.P.S. But it can see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. I love her face. I know. Just associated with all the words, man. I know. It's so great. It, this game, man. It's <laughs> honestly like it probably is my. Even though I love Hotline Miami, I really love this game. Just because I wasn't it, even like giving this much thought as part of the humble humble. Right. Bundle. No one does. No one seriously, and no one does. And I, I think that's the beauty of this game is no one even thinks about it. I'm just gonna boot it up one day. Right. And yeah. That's what. And I think that's. Like, and that's what I did. Fun. I was like, I really want to play this game, and I, I know I won't play it on my PC, because at that time, it, I got a early beta, because I uh, I pre-ordered it, like, the day they announced it. Yeah. And uh, I, when it came out, I'm, it only was available for PC, and I was like, I don't want to double boot to play this game. I'm, I wasn't really into it either. I was a little disappointed. And then finally, I saw it on uh, the Wii U library, and I'm like, fuck it, I'll just buy it. And I literally could not stop playing. Yeah, that's great. Which is interesting because that's kind of like the games they're speaking against are those game, those super addictive like Facebook games. Yeah. Supposedly, anyway. They, I don't like to be the one that's like, oh, that's what they mean because they've never really. I don't think they've said. Oop. It's starting to feel like that is the case. Though. Well, yeah, I mean, especially like especially that. with the comment on the free update. You know, right. Yeah. I just got it. Where's my phone at? 
Oh, there it is. It's not important, man. You're burning well, things. Well, no, I, I wanted to. I wanted to mute it so that does. It was you though who tweeted. Uh, we can oh, burn. that's right. Yeah. Oh, actually, I, I remember. I'm trying to remember all these combos. The other thing we can do is uh, extend. We can get more packages. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Uh, I'll, I'll answer questions now. I think I've done a good enough job explaining the game. Oh, this fucking bear? I think, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like Pedo Bear. What He's my think? little bear. What, what do you think, Bear? That, that looks like a cartoonized representation of me. Yeah. It's I'm actually make, pretty accurate. I'm making a dance, Bear. That looks like, yeah, that's me, alright. <laughs> Get into the pile. That's pretty adorable. I think it looks like Pedo Bear. Uh, Bubba Boy Eyes wants you to say hi to him. Hi, Bubba Boys. There you go. Hey. You gotta say his name, man. Bubba Boy Eyes. Bubba Boy. What's your favorite item to burn? Asks Video Gamer Forty Thousand. Uh, there's a fucking awesome item called the Cold or the Machine Heart, and it sucks in all the fire and then explodes. He also wants you to say hi to him. Hi. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> that's a uh, video gamer forty thousand. Hi, video game forty thousand. Uh huh. Uh, but that's probably my favorite item in the early game. Later, you get a nuke, and then like once you get a nuke, it's like where do you go from there? Right. Yeah. That's. Oh, what is that game I'm thinking of? There was like an old Flash game. Uh, it was like one of those stick figure madness games you play when you're thirteen yeah. years old, and there's like the nuke that you can get for like a five hundred thousand dollars at the end of the game, and then you're like, all right, well, that was the end of it. I messed up. I upgraded my spot, so now I have no money. <laughs> so, uh, uh, 8-Bit Black Mage wants to know how I am. Well, thank you. This is my stream. I'm doing great. It's all right. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is YouTube.com slash Bear Taffy. He's got an amazing voice, as you can already tell. But uh, he does really good le What are you working on right now? Are you done with Waking... Not Waking Mars. Uh, Mars Lodge? or what um, Yeah, Mars it? Warlogs. I, I kind of put a hold on that. I'm Ooh. playing Roos right now. Roos! How's that Roos. going? Roos! I still haven't played that. Um, everyone it's, was talking awesome, about it. It's awesome, man. I'm actually really digging that one. I'm not really into god games. Yeah, it is a god game, and that's kind um, of for a unique crowd. Yeah. <laughs> Peter Mal it's, it's, it's for an elite crowd. Only the uh, the most prominent gamers can play it. Only people who like Peter Molyneux. Mm, I sure. like Peter Molyneux, actually. By the way, you, actually. you heard about what was it in uh, Curiosity, right? Yeah, that, that you know what? Actually, that's a decent uh, prize, I felt. I think that it's, I, it pissed me off because... It was a really neat idea that just turned into advertising for his game. It yeah, and I mean, you got you got to kind of expect that from Peter, you yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, but like, that, that kind, kind of, of what... that sucks though. I mean, like there was this like he I don't know. It, it's just kind of more proof that you can't really do anything that amazing in the gaming industry. Yeah. Plus, they're like, oh, you don't have to share it if you don't want to. Oh shit, was that not? Uh... <laughs> Is that, for that, that kid, though, I mean, like that's a pretty big deal. He's going to be taking a cut of the profits from it, the game. That's it was of... pretty funny, though, that he just bought it that day. And he, yeah, okay. And he, and he didn't even <laughs> know so what the funny. name. He didn't even know what the name of the game was. Like all these people that. I don't talking. know if that. I don't know if that's true, though. That kind of sounds like trolling to me. That sounds like a good story uh, for the media. See. All right, let's try to do some combos now. Uh, uh, some people are wondering how you and I met, which is uh, a hilariously unimpressive story about the fact that you just kind of happened upon me as I commented on one of your videos. Yeah, yeah, you commented on one of my videos. I don't remember which one it was. Uh, you commented on one of my videos, and I fucking loved your voice. And I was like, I'm going to harness the power of this man's vocal cords. <laughs> Oh, and then you showed up at my front door and you yeah. just started like chanting these ancient hymns at me and it don't, was really cr Yeah, don't worry about that. Alright, so I'm assuming the seafarer's combo is the pirate with the boat. Right? That's a fair assumption, right? That makes sense. Yay! It was right. I did it. Woohoo! Oh my god, I forgot the boat exploded. Okay, guess what? I'm making you something. Because you are my pretty good friend. Even though you never reply to my letters. <laughs> okay, but you have to send me something first. The thing you need to send me is red and attractive. A and blood. A Native American. And has long invisible <laughs> arms. Haha, <laughs> no, it's not love. Ew. It's magnets. That's genius. Alright, so we can go back and buy a magnet. And we can send it. <laughs> For a little ew. <laughs> All caps and then lowercase. I wonder if one of them had a kid recently, or like if they have a kid that just got older, like that's about this age, because they do a really good job writing for her. Like it's real, it's almost like creepy, like how accurate that is to like how. It, 
a child that age is. That's very true. Uh, let's see. Building bricks combo. I just tried to do that one. It didn't work. Uh, oh, the fire breathing one's pretty easy. Uh, let's see. We buy this idol. And another part, like a big part of this uh, doing these combos is just knowing what they do by using them. Because it's not always necessarily going to be in the name. It's going to most and most times be in their function. So, like, this one's a fire... The one we're about to do is the fire-breathing one. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what the fuck? That's messed up. Uh, this one, it was like a rat, like one of those rattlesnake things. You'll see in a minute. It doesn't shoot out rattlesnakes. Like, the fake snakes, it shoots out syringes. Oh, yeah. No, there, I was just, like, I was waiting what? to see what you were reacting to. But... What the fuck? Jesus. I don't even remember that. That's okay, crazy. thanks for the magnet. I can tell there's something special about it. Did you notice, too? What? Don't worry, I'm still making you something. I'm not very good at deadlines, but you can have this for now. I think it's broken. Got a thermometer. So all these special items she sends us typically uh, give us a lot more money. And they seem to always come at the right time. Wait, which, what did we buy right now? It's awfully convenient. Oh, the Tiki Torch. So we can buy the Pyranosaurus plushie, because uh, I, I already know this guy breathes fire. From having played this before, um, I, I'm having a much easier experience with this game. The first time you play it, it will not be this easy. Wait, or maybe actually, I think I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. Actually, this might be the wrong dinosaur. Oh no, it is. So we get the fire breather combo. Uh, any other questions, RPG? What do you think of Big Bang with all explosive stuff? I don't know what that question is. I I I, th I think the answer is yes. Yeah, I think it's yes. Oh, here's the cold yeah. heart. The cold heart's like my favorite item. Uh, we'll wait to use it though till we have like a big fire going. Uh, I am married. Bear, it, bear yeah. is married. He. Um, there was something about. Oh, what's your favorite shade of yellow? Uh, I like the combination of like I like really I like yellow green or green yellow. That's a cop out, man. No, dude. You gotta give me like a Crayola color. Okay, there's a kamikaze elf. Just so you know. That's good. Oh, and there's. A I thought you were ta talking about a shade of yellow, and I was gonna be like, that—that's the shade of yellow I want to see. I think is kamikaze elf. Kamikaze elf. Um, let's just buy more things. You almost always want to like buy a bunch of shit. You always—the more shit you burn at once, the more money you get. There's no reason really to save money in this game. Especially once you get to the end. Like, that's the cool thing in the end. You can just burn so much stuff. Oh, man. I decimated this one. Decimated. Oh, wow. Yeah, that did yeah, it. Yeah, I know. And uh, if you can't hear the volume, the uh, the rose petals are falling because she was singing. And then fire or flowers <laughs> fall more into the fire. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. So one of the combos, I believe, this just off my memory, is the space heater with the cold metal heart. Best suited mm -hmm. for those who need to make shrewd business decisions. Ha! Oh wait, is this the nuke? Holy shit, I didn't know we get this that early. Uncle Sam's blam blams. Bum, 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 bum. Can you destroy your little inferno with an overabundance of highly explosive items? Unfortunately, no. I tried that. Uh. Um, I, uh, I put like eight nukes at once, I think, and nothing happened. Oh man. There's a lol kitty combo. <laughs> I'm imagining that's... Oh, the cat. I just picture that just being a cat and then the little girl just laughing as it roasts. No, I'm pretty sure it's the cat and the camera. Like, making a... Because the lol cat picture. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Double fan combo. Magnetic heart combo. Oh, I, that's... We can do that one. You can also do two combos at once. Like if there's an, if there, you can do like three items, and if like they all kind of merge into one, or I don't know if that that didn't make any sense. Like if there's a combo, two combos that each use one of the same item, and you do all three at once, then you get both those combos. It's not like you have to do them all separately. Right. All right. So I think we do the space heater, the cold heart, and um, the magnet, and we'll get two combos at once. This should be interesting. Uh, Bubba Boy, I was wondering if you were doing a giveaway for Animal Crossing New Leaf. I'm not. Yeah, I got two combos. 
Uh, no, I, I wasn't planning it. So see, the, the cold heart sucks in all of the hot air, all the ah. fire, and I believe it explodes. But what's funny is the space heater does the same thing, just not as effectively. So they're, like, kind of competing for the fire. There we go. And your heart. Oh, I guess the it doesn't explode. It just kind of stops working. <laughs> Which is way better. All right, let's just keep trying to do combos. Um, magnetic heart, watching you. Watching you combo. Uh, I, I gotta start trying to guess these with the items that we've got yeah. here. Uh, it's probably so the, watching. Probably the camera. Is it just like a rep representation of you somehow? And the TV. Or maybe. My guess is the TV and the camera. Yeah, that's what I might thought. So too. like, I don't really remember all these. Uh, and it also might. Be, I don't remember what this is right here. The last blocked one. Because that that could. Be, I doubt it though. This is probably it. Right, Does see. the face in the, uh, well, what we assume to be a face actually, Yay, like... Yay, I got it! Woo! Oh, that, I forgot Does it about interact that. with anything, or is it just kind of hanging out back there? Oh, wait, oh my god, I forgot about that! I totally forgot that. If your webcam is on, if your webcam is active, that camera will actually take a picture of you and burn it. Oh my god, that's the best thing ever. I totally forgot. And the you cool have, thing is... Dude, uh, turn on your webcam. It should, it's built in, so I don't know why it didn't work. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Um, plus, it burns so quickly that it doesn't even really matter. <laughs> just, what the fuck is... Look at this crazy-ass leprechaun. I'm the leprechaun! Terrible teeth combo. So that's probably... Yeah, he's gotta be a part of that. Yeah. Toy leprechaun. He's luckier than he looks. It's probably this one and uh, eager bunny plushie. Because they both got fucked up teeth. Right. They both look like they're from the UK. hey -o! Whoa, British people have bad Shots teeth. Shots fired. Muskets fired. Right? They still Oh, man, that was topical. They still use muskets, right? Oh, yeah. They're, they're still back Hey, in we're at 100 game. viewers. Wow, I'm really excited. That's fun. Thanks for uh, showing up, guys. I was worried that no one was going to show up because it's, it's so late, but cool. It is Friday night, though. It is Friday night. It's f oh, I forgot. There was something I wanted to tell you. Are you there? Oh shit, she, that's all she said. <laughs> Whoa. I actually, I can't wait till you see what happens, because uh, just so everyone knows, I am playing through the whole game. We get the fucking moon! That was an oddly well-constructed series of sentences for her. I know. All right, kitty, kitty, poo, poo, plushy. That, oh, I remember what this, have, did you play Battle Block Theater? Oh yeah, I did, man. All right, I love you, Battle Block Do you Block have Theater. an appreciation for poop? Yes. Okay. Of course. Um, of course. Uh, of let's, course. Let's do the mini nuke for this one too, just for good measure. Fuck off, spider. Um, so the spiders will slowly drop better and better things. Like it just dropped three cents in a stamp, which before it would just drop one cent. Haha! -ha, I know you're there. Do you want to know how I know? Are you ready for me to tell you something? Really, really ready? Okay. Listen carefully. Shh! I'm your neighbor! <laughs> and I think I'm stuck here. Just like you. You and me. And a little wall right between us. From your neighbor, Sugar Plumps. I also like to imagine that she's actually sending you, like, photos of her to associate with all the different pages <laughs> of the postcard. Uh, guys, if you're not already doing so, uh, go ahead and follow the stream. I'd really appreciate it a lot. Um, I'm definitely planning. I'm out of school now, so I'm planning on doing way more streams. I also just love the fact that we burn all the letters she gives us. <laughs> yeah, all right, I just want funny. you to see the way this cat dies, because it is kind of hilarious. Ready? I have to wait. Yeah, I know. Uh. Man, you got a good combo going here. <laughs> It just oh, man, shit. It just sh rocket, <laughs> rocket propel shits itself. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, and then the nuke completely everything's gone. Oh yeah, there we go. And I actually, that's why I like the nuke a lot because a, a lot of times you'll just get a lot of uh, embers everywhere, and uh, it, it kind of just helps reset everything. You got a ton of money from that one too. Oh, uh, the other cool thing is they won't let you move on to the next catalog until you do every single item, which I actually think that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, time bomb combo. That's actually, you know what, I. I should have grabbed the alarm clock, because that's probably what that is. And we need to do the moon. Fly me to the moon. Is that how that song goes? 
I don't know what that song is. It's uh, Frank Sinatra, I think. Ah. Uh, um. How much money do we have? How much was this? The other thing is there's restocking. Oh, as we get further and further, there's going to be crazier and crazier things. Keep in mind, they gave us a mini nuke and the fucking moon on just the second book. Just to kind of give you an idea. Does oh. it... I, I was going to say, does it get better? Okay, RPG. The question is, what is it about doing videos do you love... Okay, so what do I love so much about doing videos? Um, I mean, I'm a video production major anyway. So it's really cool to get this, like, it's very much like instant gratification. And I'm sure even, I'm, everyone gets a little bit of this. But it's the idea of you make a video and instantly you can upload it and, like, people everywhere can watch it. Um, it's like, especially at this point, like, how far along I am, it's kind of amazing just to have that opportunity. He also has to keep doing it or I'll kill him. Breaking weather report! The forecast says, Thick snow clouds are rolling in from all directions. We're in for something. Big! Stay warm inside, folks. Hehe. <laughs> Reporting from the weather balloon. Over the smokestacks. Over the city. The weatherman. I feel like this could be such a good book. You know what the I mean? The Little Inferno children's book? I, no, not a children. Oh, this is the coolest thing. Look at the moon. Um, it actually has an orbit. Ooh. Um... You'll see in a minute. Well, you probably uh, saw. Yeah, I like that. Um, and actually, I'm going to go ahead and get like the light bulbs to make like planets. That's they, so cute. Because they give you three of them. Yeah. They're fragile, though. So, Careful. yeah, like I said, yeah, this is only the third or the second book. We got a fucking moon and a nuke. All right. How many books are there? Uh, Seven? Yes. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ready? And then there's a final chapter, which has nothing to do with the Little Inferno. Not spoiling anything, but it's going to be awesome. We're going to play the whole game. I don't know how late you can stay up there past your bedtime. No, I can't. I actually, yeah, I was just about to bring that up. Wow. All right. I love you, though. I am going to bounce. you got to at least see this one, though. Okay, I'll wait for the moon. We just blew up the moon. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so great. You said we have a problem. <laughs> Woo! All right, so if you gotta get going, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna I do, keep, yeah. I'm hey, this playing. is fun though, and I uh, I will keep me around, yo. Bear, do you have, wait. One last question, Bear. Do you have abs? Oh man, I've got them underneath this keg, dude. Everyone's got abs. It's just a yeah. muscle in your body. Mm-hmm. All right, All so right, uh, guys, YouTube.com/slash Bear Taffy, B-A-E-R Taffy, like Laffy Taffy. I'll put it on there myself. Yeah, go ahead and put... Uh, it myself it's okay. Uh, definitely check his channel out, you guys. He does really good videos. Right now he's playing Reus. Reus. And uh, he's also a world-renowned Spelunky player. It's true. Um, Famous. Yeah. Recognized by Mossmouth. Definitely check out his channel, though. He does really good content. And uh, Bear, thank you so much for coming. Love you, man. Love you too, man. Enjoy it. I will.